three, they say they're constant. Guys, this is very important. They're constant, the constant second difference of a quadratic pattern. This pattern, again, this is a pattern here. And then we are told to go to this pattern, the, the, const, the constant second difference of this pattern, but the constant second difference of this pattern is what it's two. No? And then they say, which we should determine the values of X and Y and, and Y. Okay, uh, Palisa, how should I do it then? So I'm going to look for the first different first. So we have four and then we have X and then we have eight and then we have Y and then we have 20. Now guys, two is not part of the pattern. Can you see that? Two is not part of the pattern. Two is the second different of this pattern. So if we're going to get the second different of this thing, we're going, first different we're going to say, this one subtract this one. Okay? And then it says X minus open bracket four. Okay. And then after that, we're going to have eight minus open bracket X. And then after that, we're going to have, it's Y minus open bracket eight. Yeah. And then last but not least, so we have 20 minus open bracket minus one. Okay, what is this? This is the first difference, okay? But we're not going to write it as the first different as yet. We're first going to simplify it. Let's simplify it. If you simplify this one, what you get, Marvin? This one, the first one. So this one is going to be X minus four. So we get X minus four. Okay, we've got X minus four. For the second one, what are we going to get? So the second one, it's eight minus X. And then eight minus X is us subtracting this two. Again, we're subtracting this one, term number two, subtract, oh, term number three, subtract term number two. Yeah? Okay, let's move on to the next one. Green one, what do we get for this one? If we simplify it, this one is Y minus eight. Okay? And then last one, we have red again. What do we get for that one? 20 minus Y. How did you get 20 minus Y? I agree with that. Negative multiplied by positive. Now, this is the first difference. This is just the first difference. We are not done. What are we supposed to do next, uh, Police? We're going to look for the second difference. Okay? How do we look for the second difference? We say this one, subtract this one. Okay? And then if we subtract this two, what are we going to get? We're going to get eight minus X. Okay? Minus open bracket. It's X minus four, like this. Okay. Okay, then the next one that we're going to have is this one, subtract this one again. Okay? What do you have for that one? It's Y minus eight minus open bracket. It's eight minus X like this again. Okay? okay, we go to the last one, which is the third one. We say this one, subtract this one again. Okay? And then if we do that one, what do we get? It's 20 minus Y again, okay? minus open bracket. It's Y minus what? Minus eight. Okay, let's simplify the red one. First, we're going to simplify this one is red. Okay? If you simplify the red one, what you get as your answer? The simplified version, I think we're going to say negative multiplied by positive. Yeah, yeah? And then negative multiplied by negative, what you get as the simplified? It's negative, yeah. yeah? Okay, what, what you get as the simplified? Okay, we're going to have eight. Okay? And then we have minus x. Okay? This one sub multiplied by this one, we get what? Minus x. This one multiplied by this one? Plus, plus, four. plus four. Okay, let's simplify it then. What are we going to get as a simplified version? Minus 2x plus 12. Okay, sharp. Okay, let's go to the next one then. This one, if we simplify this one, what are we going to get? We're going to get y minus 8. Okay? And then we have negative multiplied by positive. What do we get for that one? Minus 8. Okay? And then we have negative multiplied by positive. What do you get? It's positive x, okay? And then if you simplify this one, what are you going to get for this one? It's y minus 16, okay? Plus x. Okay, we're going to go to the green one. On the green one, what are you going to have? We have negative and positive. Negative and positive, what do you get? So here we have 20 minus y, okay? Minus y, 
plus eight. Okay, if we simplify this one, what are we going to get? Is what? It's minus two y plus what? Plus 28. Okay, how many equations do we have, man? We have three equations. Okay? We have equation number one, which is red. We have equation number two, which is blue. Okay? And then we have equation number three, which is what? Which is, which is green. Now, what is this? This one here, we call them what? The second difference. Guys, even if you fail to get this question correct, God, so there's a mark for the first difference. We give Elena a mark for the first difference. We give Elena a mark for the second difference. Just being able to apply the mathematics and get the first difference, get the second difference. We're going to give you marks. So make sure that you get those marks. Okay, uh, what should I do here, Palis? Equate. We can equate red and blue, okay? Yeah, and then if we equate red and blue, here's what we can do then. We can say to them, okay, it means it looks as if we have three equations. Eh? We can do it this way. But I want to show you the simplest way in which we can do it. For the next question that we're going to do, it, it requires us to do this. Let's do this. So we have minus 2x plus 12, okay? Let's call this one equation number one, okay? And then we can also have equation number two. What is going to be equation number two? We can say which we have y minus 16, okay? Plus x, this is going to be what to be? Equation two, okay? And then after that, we can then have, no, no, no. These are not equations. This this one is going to be equal to this one. It's going to be equal to this one, okay? Mm. They're equal. It's not an equation. So we can call this one expression number one, expression number two. And then the other expression that we have. Let's write the other expression that we have. We have minus 2y plus 28. Okay? This is going to be expression number three. These are not equations as yet. Okay? Now, Palisa is proposing the following to say, Marase, you can equate red and blue. Okay? If you don't equate red and blue, you can equate red and green. Okay? Those are the combinations that we can have. Now, if we don't have that combination again, we can still have red, we can still have blue and green. Okay? Or we can have blue and what and, and red. So those are the combinations that we can have. But the simplest way to do it here, Palis, is because we know what is the second difference. I think the second difference is equal to two. No? So we might as well use the fact that, okay, this is the second difference number one. This is the second difference number two. This is the second difference number one, number, number three. But since it's quadratic, it means that this is going to be equal to two. Why is this equal to two? I agree this is a second difference, okay? And then this is also a second difference. And then this one is also going to be equal to two. And this one here is also going to be equal to what, two? To two. So I would want us to use that approach first and then we'll come and do that other one that we're talking about. So let's stick with the first one. If you go with the first one, I think we're going to say minus two X, okay? plus 12 is equal to what two? To two. And then you solve for X, okay? Take this one to this other side. What are you going to have? It's minus two X is equal to minus 10, okay? Divide by minus two, divide by minus two. It says X is going to be what two? Five. five. We say fine, okay? Mm -hmm. Then we can also use this one because we already know what is X, okay? Because we already know what is X, then we can come and say, okay, but now, Let's use blue. If we use blue, we're going to say y minus 16. Okay? Now, instead of x, what am I going to put? Plus 5. And then this is supposed to be equal to what, 2? y2 is because it's the second difference. And then if you solve this thing here, I think we have 16 plus 5. 16 plus 5, you get what? Minus 11. This one and this one, you get minus 11. You take minus 11 to this other side. It says which y is going to be equal to it's 15. it's 13. Mm -hmm. Y is going to be equal to what to 13. So x is 5, and then y is going to be equal to what to 13. Okay, now that we are done with the first way to do it, let's look at the second way to do it then. 